Alright everybody, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to the 2020 NFL Draft video. We're here, it's the second video of the day. Before we actually get into the draft, or the results of the draft, I'm looking at a few videos just to set the scene a little, you could say. In the previous video we heard the Combine athletes, the, the college athletes, uh, compare themselves to current NFL players. That was quite fun. In this video we're going to hear from someone or something, try and calculate who of those top players are most likely to turn into legitimate stars. I don't know how they're going to calculate this, but I'm interested. So guys, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it like me. Wow, please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Next Gen Stats draft model is run the numbers for which prospects are most likely to become starters and make the Pro Bowl by evaluating their production, athleticism, and size against previously drafted players. Unfortunately, offensive linemen are omitted as we do not have a great way to track their college production. With that said, let's kick it off with number 25, Justin Jefferson, wide receiver, LSU. Jefferson caught a school record 111 passes for the national champion Tigers. His blazing fast 4.4340 at the Combine made him one of five receivers to have a score of 75 plus in athleticism, production, and size. Number 24, Jeff Okuda, cornerback, Damn, Ohio bro. State. These guys, are, these guys are lethal, legitimate players, and they're at number 25 and 24. Who in the hell is going to be top five? Okuda only started for one season in college, which hurt his production score. He did have a strong showing at the Combine, though, running a 4.4840 and earning a 96 athleticism score. Purdue tight end Bryson Hopkins is 23rd due to his 98 production score. Hopkins caught 61 passes in 2019 and had 16 career TD receptions with the Boilermakers. Oklahoma quarterback Jalen Hurts checks in at number 22 and cracks the list based on his 95 athleticism score. Is Hurts going to get out of the first Hurts round? 4.5940 yard dash on the combine after going 38 and 4 in his college career. Safety Grant Delpit is the second national champion LSU Tiger to make the list. The Jim Thorpe Award winner finished with the second. Second highest safety. production score among safeties after tallying eight interceptions and seven sacks. In Are we going to see any running backs in this top 25? Three seasons at LSU. Another corner, Amik Robertson from Louisiana Tech, checks in at number 20. Maybe two? Robertson has a 98 production score, the highest of any corner in the last two drafts, due to his 14 career interceptions. Oh my Clemson God. safety Kayvon Wallace lands at number 19 due to his 96 athleticism score after running a 4.43 40-yard dash and jumping 38 inches in the vertical. Michigan State's pass rusher Kenny Willekes is number 18 according to Next Gen Stats based on his 88 production score after finishing his college career. What is ED? Sack. What is ED? Edge defender? And 51 tackles for a loss. Justin Matabike is 17th on the list after his 4.83 40-yard dash at 293 pounds. My God. That, along with his 7.373 cone, resulted in an athleticism score of 96. Christian Fulton earned athleticism and production scores over 80 due to his 4.4640 and 23 pass breakups in his two seasons. Doesn't even look like he's you. trying, That's does good it? enough to land him at number 16. Number 15 goes to Cam Akers from Florida State. Mm. Akers is one of three running backs in this class with a score of 85 or better in both athletic... Yes, I was impressed by Akers, actually. I was impressed by Akers, although I think he's quite short. I think he's 5'8". From memory. System and production. The other two are still to come. Anthony e. Jennings, a three-year starter. Oh, what's that? We've got two more running backs. Akers from Florida State. Akers is one of three running backs in this class with a score of 85 or better in both athleticism and production. The other two are still to come. Anthony e. Jennings, a three-year starter at Alabama, sits at number 14. Jennings earned an 84 production score after leading Alabama in sacks and tackles for loss in 2019. The corner most likely to make a Pro Bowl in the draft, according to Next Gen, is Tulsa's Reggie Robinson. Robinson was the only corner to have athleticism, production, and size scored above 75. Oregon's Justin Herbert lands at number 12 as he has the highest athleticism score among 2020 quarterbacks after running a 4.6840 with a 35 and a half inch vertical and a 10 foot 3 inch broad jump at the combine. Yeah, His size and athleticism compare well with that of Bill's Josh Allen. Clemson's T. Higgins is one of four wide receivers in the top 11 according to Next Gen Stats. 
Higgins has an 89 production score after hauling in 25 TD receptions in his last two seasons with the Tigers. Alabama's Jerry Judy kicks off the top 10 with a 94 production score. In his two seasons that starting with the to tie, Judy racked up almost 2,500 yards and 24 touchdowns. Minnesota's Tyler Johnson led all wide receivers in production score. Johnson caught over 160 passes the last two seasons and set Minnesota's single season records in receptions, yards, and TDs in 2019. Okay. Ohio State's J.K. Dobbins is the second most likely running back to make a Pro Bowl at number eight. J.K. Dobbins. I don't remember him from the combine. He's from Ohio State too. Dobbins has a 97 production score. Size at 69. Why is that? Why is his size so low? Imagine if he had a 90 size score. He'd be a number one prospect. Oh, I, I really... Oh, 178. Okay. Yep. 510 after rushing for almost 4,500 yards in his three-year career, including setting a school record with 2,003 rushing yards in 2019. Number seven on the list is Isaiah Simmons, the do-it-all defender for- Think I got 2,000 rushing yards last year? For Ohio State? I definitely would have been told about him, seeing as the fact that I was following Ohio State, but I, I just can't recall. Clemson. Simmons has a 99 athleticism score oh, with man. other linebackers and safeties. Simmons ran a 4.3940 at the- uh, 4.39, a 38 inch vertical. Is that what they said? List is Isaiah Simmons, the do it all defender from Clemson. Simmons has a 99 athleticism score when compared to other linebackers and safeties. Simmons ran a 4.3940 at the combine after tallying 107 tackles, eight sacks, and three interceptions in 2019 for the Tigers. Alabama's two wow, that, guy, that guy's just everywhere. Isaiah Thomas, he is going to be in the top 10 for sure. So, okay, so top six, what have we got? Tua. We've got that Jonathan Taylor running back. We've got Ruggs, the wide receiver. We've got those two massive linemen. And we've got Joe Burrow. That comes in at number six, according to Next Gen. Tua earned a 99 production score after throwing 87 TDs to just 11 interceptions see how good in three seasons with the Crimson Tide. His record as a starter in college was 22 and two. The fourth and final member of the 2019 national champion LSU Tigers to make the list is quarterback Joe Burrow. Like Tua, Burrow earned a 99 production score as he completed more than three quarters of his passes and threw 60 TDs en route to the Heisman Trophy in 2019. Oklahoma CD Lamb comes in at number four after earning a score of 94 in both athleticism and production. Lamb ran a 4.50 40-yard dash after compiling almost 3,300 yards and 32 touchdowns Downs in his three seasons in Norman. That Ohio solid. State's Chase Young earned a 97 production score, the highest of any edge rusher in the class of 2020. Young led the FBS in sacks with 16 and a half despite missing two games in 2019. He had 27 sacks in 26 games during his final two seasons at Ohio State. The number two prospect according there to Next is. Gen's model is running back Jonathan Taylor. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so happy. I thought like he might come at like number 10 or 11 or something. I'm so happy to see that whoever's Racing, well, actually, it's an algorithm, but I'm, well, I guess I'm, in that case, I'm happy to see the algorithm fix the same as I. Why is his size score as a running back 77? How big do you want these guys to be, or how small do you want them to be? Is that because he's too tall or too short? Too heavy or too light? It doesn't matter. He's got a draft score of 98 out of 100. Jonathan Taylor, this guy is going to be lethal, bro. I cannot wait to see him play. And I can't wait to see the team that picked him up, because I might have to start following them. Taylor earned a 98 production score after rushing for over 2,000 yards is a beast, in consecutive seasons. Bruh. What caught and he's got my favorite number. was Taylor's 4.3940 and 36-inch vertical at the combine, leading to an athleticism score of 96. And the prospect most likely to become a starter and make a Pro Bowl, according to Next Gen Stats, is Missouri tight end Albert O. Albert O not only leads all FBS tight ends with 23 touchdown receptions since 2017, but he also put on a show at the Combine. He earned an athleticism score of 99 after running a 4.4940 at 258 pounds. Damn. Is there... Damn, damn, damn. All right, guys. So, when I paused it at 6... I rattled off a few players that I thought would, would uh, you know, be filling out that top five. Lo and behold, I got them all completely wrong except for two, which was Joe Burrow, who came in at the, the fifth highest likely to become a starter and a Pro Bowl uh, player. Then we had Jonathan Taylor come in at number two, the second most likely player in the draft to become a star.
and I'd have to agree. So guys, I think that concludes our videos uh, prior to the draft. Let me just check what the next one is. Doing the draft. Mr. Goodall. Okay, I feel, I don't know if, I feel like I'm not ready. I feel like I'm not ready to watch this. It's only a six minute and 58 second video to go through picks number one to five. I feel like, God, that's too short. We're not going to be able to enjoy each pick enough. But actually, with that being said, I've probably got about 15 more videos to get through. So, so probably the, the shorter the better, to be honest. But anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that one. I hope you've enjoyed the draft wherever and whenever you watched it. If you're watching it for the first time with me, I want to say welcome. Let's do this. If you're watching it for a second time with me, I want to say welcome. Let's do this. And if you're watching it for a third time, I want to say you're fucking crazy. No one watches a draft three times. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.